when I first started setting up my homestead, I had a little bit of barbed wire and a few T-posts. So I made a really basic uh, perimeter around the homestead, but I didn't have enough material to build strong corners to make a nice fence. And the other day I picked up 20 T-posts, so I'll be able to make some nice solid corners uh, for my fence here on the homestead. A couple weeks back I did a brief review on the Rock Pals 300 watt power station and about a week later they sent me a solar panel so I thought I'd show you guys briefly how sharp this Rock Pals solar panel is. This is a compact 100 watt solar panel that folds out. All of the cords can be easily stowed away in the pocket on the back of the solar panel. You can simply plug the solar panel into the front of the power station. Just position the solar panel towards the sun and you should be able to harvest plenty of electricity to run small appliances. And you can easily fold it up and store it for next time. This is the front corner, just going around the perimeter of the homestead. Um, fencing in about an acre is all. I ran out of the full length T-post, so instead of going all the way up, I just ran this one here, which I'm fine with. Um, I've just gone around and welded every point that I can on the T-post to hold everything solid. And I've already run one strand of wire around the bottom, and I'm working on the, the top strand. And then we'll see how, if I have enough wire, you know, how many I can do in the middle. And I'll fill in the blanks with electric wire. I don't have a fence stretcher. But I do have a come along. And so I've been running the wire down. So this, this goes from that corner all the way to here. And I just made a loop and hooked my come along through. And then hooked the come along to this side. Pulled it tight and then looped uh, barbed wire through the loop here and then with my body weight pulled that as tight as I could before releasing the come along and that has been you know you could probably play a pretty good banjo tune on the fence here I've got a line of barbed wire on the bottom and the top all the way around and now I'm adding this high tension wire I've almost got three lines all the way around the entire perimeter. So there's two strands down here. You probably can't see this one very good, the barbed wire. So it's barbed wire, high tensile cord, wire, 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 barbed wire. <laughs> and then in between I'll have electric, electric, electric. And then even the cat would have a hard time getting between these really. Don't, what do you think? You want to jump through that? Probably not the bottom two. <laughs> this corner I did a little different because this T-post was too short to go all the way up. But it'll do just fine. So you can see. One, two, three, four, five. And then this side doesn't have the middle yet. Just there's two at the bottom. One, two, and one up here.
I've been out here for a couple days running line on the fence here and welding posts in the corners. So now I have eight strands. There's barbed wire on the bottom, tension wire, electric wire, tension wire, electric, 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 <laughs> barbed wire. And on the front, there's one less electric and one more tension wire. This is my ugliest corner. It's made out of mostly scrap material. This corner is all brand new T-posts. One benefit, I guess, is you can hardly see the fence at all. I'll have to run more posts when I can, and I'll cut these ones off <laughs> when I can. Otherwise we're pretty well set. I guess I better get the solar, the charger set up. Tell you what, I'm pretty sore. The sun's just coming up, it's just after 7, and uh... I'm not sure if it's from running or lifting weights or from the fence or the combination of them, but I'm pretty sore. See how full all the feathers are on the hens here. I had a rooster in here when I first got them, and he tore their backs up pretty good, you know, ripping their feathers out. But since they molted and everything, now they have grown all back. They look pretty nice. I'm just headed back from town and I took a back road here and I thought you guys might think this was a little bit interesting just this place right on the road it looks quite abandoned <laughs> the winds blowing like crazy right now I gotta get those galvanized pipes set in some concrete for that thing as soon as I can but I wanted to show you guys the solar uh, the electric fence and the solar charger for it although it's really windy so hopefully there's been enough sun to charge the unit which will leave the fence charged here's the Parmac 6 it's good for 25 miles it says I've got the ground run to a ground right below the unit it comes over about five feet to this ground and then another 10 feet over to the ground next to the post there this is the most sun I've had in a few days and it's really not much it's been really overcast so I think I need to give this guy a day or two to charge up um, and then I should be able to to show you guys how well the electric fence works if you want to learn more about how I came out here off-grid in the high desert of Arizona to build my homestead with next to nothing, check out the link below and uh, you can get my book on Amazon. It was a number one bestseller in multiple categories and it's done really well. So give it a, give it a look and, and uh, if you want to see more content like this, make sure you subscribe. Maybe leave a comment below and I'll see you guys on the next video.